Hey fellow Google admins, welcome back to Google Cloud Identity Course. This is Goldie again. In the previous video, we talked about difference between Google Cloud Identity and Google Identity Platform. In this video, let's talk about the differences among Google Cloud Identity, Google Cloud Platform, and Google Workspace. So let me share my screen and present you a few slides that will help you with that understanding. So what's the difference among them? Well, before we move towards that difference, let's understand that Google Cloud Identity is an identity provider offering from Google. It is similar to when you are carrying your driving license from DMV, which you got after verifying your six point ID. When you go to airport, you show your driving license as your identity. So in this specific case, airport authority is acting as a service provider, whereas DMV is acting as your identity provider. And behind the scenes, they have some, some channel to communicate, right? And that's why you might have seen airport authority officials would just put your license in, in some sort of scanning machine and they might hear a beep saying everything is okay. So now you understand identity provider, service provider, and a channel of communication between them. Now let's move towards our use case here is to understand the difference between Google Cloud Identity, Google Workspace, and Google Cloud Platform. So to make it easy, and before that, by the way, this is not an official documentation from Google. This is just my understanding doing Google Workspace and Cloud Identity from some time. So in case if I miss something, please do not forget to put that in the comments below and I'll be happy to correct it. Okay, so Google Cloud Identity, just think of it as the identity provider where you will be doing things like creating your identities. That means creating your users your groups, your uh, members doing settings like password management, enforcing MFA, who can access which application in which circumstances. So, so you will do all of those things inside your IDP, which is Google Cloud Identity. On the other side, you have services and these can be Google services or these can be third party services too. So for this video, let's talk about Google services. So for example, if you want to use Google Cloud Platform or Google Ads or Google Analytics, these are service providers because these are the services. They need an authentication provider, which they can rely on. And that is what Google Cloud Identity is. So in case if you're considering Google Cloud Platform if or if you have already signed up for Google Cloud Platform, you might have seen Google asking you to first sign up for Google Cloud Identity so that you can have an identity provider where you will have your users, groups, and members, and then you will assign Google Cloud Platform to those all users or maybe a subset of users. Okay, so Google Cloud Identity is equal to identity provider. Rest, what you see here is service provider, but there is a bit of catch specifically with Google Workspace because to sign up for Google Ads or Google Cloud or Google Analytics with your company domain, you will first need to sign up for Google Cloud Identity. However, if you need to sign up for Google Workspace, you might have noticed that you can directly go to Google Workspace and sign up for it without a need for Google Cloud Identity. And that's because when you sign up for Google Workspace, it gives you the same admin console where you're creating identities. So your identity is already created. You can also have Google Cloud Identity License and Google Workspace License, in some cases, working together. For example, in case if you have a contractor who does not need access to things like Gmail, Google Chat, Meet Drive, etc., he just needs to access some of the applications which you have configured as services in your Google Cloud Identity Console. For example, let's say Salesforce, where Google is acting as IDP, Salesforce is acting as service provider. Instead of investing money and purchasing Google Workspace for this contractor, you can just give him Google Cloud Identity License and it will be very cheap and we'll talk about that in pricing video. 
But coming back to Google Workspace, in case if you have signed up for Google Workspace, you already have created your identity inside Google and you can use this identity just as you would use Google as your IDP. Okay, one more thing. In case of authorization, so authorization is who can do what inside an application, okay? So for example, once you are in Google Cloud Platform, can you create a virtual machine or not? That is part of authorization. In Google Ads, what you can do and what you cannot do. In Google Analytics, which report can you read and which report you cannot read. These are examples of authorization. Just keep in mind that authorization is defined within the application itself and not in Google Cloud Identity. In Google Cloud Identity, you can configure a rule saying who will have access to Google Cloud Platform, whether all of my users or subset of my users. But what these users can do when they log into Google Cloud Platform, that level of authorization is defined within the service itself be it Google Ads or Analytics or Google Cloud Platform, etc. Okay. And then all the logging and reporting, for example, logging in terms of who is logging from which IP, etc., available in Google Cloud Identity Admin Console. However, logging in terms of what these users are doing in those end applications themselves for example what user did in google cloud platform did he create a virtual machine or a storage bucket that level of application specific reporting will be available in the application itself and not in google cloud identity now google cloud identity is also capable to act as identity provider service provider or both so as you see the optional layer here, where you can have Okta or Azure AD or Ping or One Login as your optional identity provider, which can number one, provision the identities to Google Cloud Identity. Second, it can also do authentication to Google Cloud Identity. It is optional here. If you have already invested in one of those identity providers, you may leverage your investments. If not, you can straight away work directly with Google Cloud Identity as your identity provider and access the applications uh, securely. And uh, I've created one more video on what Google Cloud Identity includes and how it can help you. I'll put that in the description below if you want to learn more about Google Cloud Identity. And finally, in terms of device management, for example, doing things like who can access XYZ from mobile application, that, that kind of device management is also configured or part of Google Cloud Identity. So I know it's a little bit confusing, but just think of Google Cloud Identity as your identity provider and rest of the services as your service provider, except Google Workspace, because when you are signing directly for Google Workspace behind the scenes, you are creating your identities inside Google. So then onwards, Google Workspace account can act as that Google identity. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to put that under this video and I will be happy to collaborate. With that, thank you so much.